This video is going to outline several of the new features in the new Project Designer 2.0. First thing, let's go and use our new Open with Preview. And you can actually see what your patterns and project files are before you open them. So you don't just have to judge them by their name, you can actually open them up or uh, look at them through the preview here to see what it is that you're working with before you even open the file. So that's a great new feature. It allows you to navigate to the projects you're working on faster. So then let's go ahead and set up a new project here. And we'll make this a 8 by 10 and we'll go a quarter inch thick because we're going to make a lithopane. Okay, so now it shows up here as we'd expect with our wood grain and uh, the board here is three dimensional. So, one thing, we have this castle file here and it is tall like as a portrait image rather than like a lengthwise image here. Uh, so in the past where you could rotate your board and try to get it positioned right. Now there's options here. You can actually just snap right to any of those orientations that you wish to do, including uh, all those same options on the back of the board. So on the front of the board here now we can drop this on the board. Rotate it match the orientation. I'll go ahead and center that and we'll scale it up to be the approximate size we want. I'm going to set the depth to be about 0.18 for the pain you don't want to go too deeper. But now uh, for those who have done lithopanes, paints you know at this point uh, you can zoom in and kind of look at it. You can turn the wood grain off and kind of view to make sure that you're getting the, the kind of details you want. But now there's a new option, so instead of just turning the wood grain off, you can actually set it to a lithopane viewer. And it'll show you what that's going to look like once it's carved into the plastic and backlit. So now you can zoom in on those areas. And you can actually make informed decisions about your bit optimization and the other tool choices that you're going to use to try to make sure that you get as clean a carved image as you can out of that. So that new litho viewer and the orientation tools there are great new features in the new Project Designer 2.0. Alright, let's create another new project here. And this one we'll go ahead and Set at a normal size. Make it a little bit larger. Okay, on this one, we are going to play around with uh, the new text tools. The uh, the new text uh, font engine for this Designer 2.0 has been completely redone. It's a brand new font engine that, that powers all of the text tools. So when you click on the text tool now, click on the board, you're going to see a totally different set of options here. So, still you can go and select any of your fonts that you choose. And we can go through here and find something that looks interesting enough. And then type in whatever we want it to say. is that you can move this down and you can actually see on the board what you're typing. So not only can you do that, but you can make adjustments and see how those adjustments are working here too. Adjustments like letter spacing. So I can increase letter spacing and I can do it for individual letters or just parts of letters or whatever I select here. I can space out however I choose just by going and telling it how much I want it spaced out or I can select it all and just zero and go back to where it was 
if I want to do two line text. I've got the ability to adjust the spacing in between those words now. So if you want more or less spacing, you can go in and adjust all of that line spacing. And then we can also just adjust the actual font size itself. So if I want to make things bigger or smaller, I can go in and type that out. So the live preview of text and the kerning, spacing, and font options are really, really nice new tools. And we still have the same bold italics, your alignment tools. You can still arc uh, as before, and then we still have the raster outline and center line options. Center line. Uh, although it's going to look very similar on the screen in the background, it's got entirely new algorithms that will make it carve much cleaner and faster on the board. Uh, so that is a, a great new feature. So let's go ahead and choose raster here. Put this on the board. And We'll use our rectangle tool. We'll draw a region around this. And go ahead and carve that down. Another new option that we have here uh, for any time you're, you're using the carving tools and you want to add a feather to things, we've always had these preset options, but now we have a feather custom. You can click and actually set the exact uh, dimensions of, of how wide or far out you want that feather to go. Uh, or how small you want to make it, and it can go all the way up to an inch, or uh, anything in between there. So, a lot more options there for feathering. features here. We've got this new tool called Edit Envelope. Click on that. It actually opens up another window here where you can manipulate uh, not just text, any any pattern or object that you've got on the board there that's, that's a closed shape. You can now skew that. I can change these lines to splines and curve it and warp it. And get really quite decorative with the text options. And then hit OK. So this or manipulate it just like I would with a, any normal pattern on the board. Uh, this also works with patterns, any patterns. So if I open up my pattern library and select a pattern, put it on the board. So all kinds of options and, and uh, uses for, for these tools for making things fit into spaces that you want or adding some flair to your text, giving yourself a lot of more dimensionality to your signs or one of the projects. Other options that we have here, uh, I can draw a line spline here. It's a nice curve. Now I can take this 
line and use the new decorate with text tool. And it's going to preview here. And I can type along that line and it'll follow that line. So I can increase the size of the font. space. I can adjust the spacing if I need to. And you can also choose the warp to fit option, which will actually bend the letters to make them conform along the line a little bit cleaner in some situations. And we can still use any of our options, raster outline or center line. this nice text following path. You can adjust this text by moving the line around and you can actually bend and kind of warp that text based on where your control points are within your, your spline or line or arc, whatever it is that you're working with. You can when you edit the arc or the line, it will manipulate the text along with it make some fine tuning choices there. Uh, another option that we have with text, with raster text, is the puffing tool. So if you're using the 3D, uh, 3D modeling suite, you have the option to use the puffing tools on raster text now. So you can set those to be a bevel or a curve or whatever effect that you want to apply to that and get some really new options for manipulating and using your text. Well these are the key features to the new Designer 2.0. It's got a new framework underneath it that uh, is allowing us to make some other major advancements here in the future. Uh, but along with this uh, text or uh, font engine I've made some great strides forward into the, making this a, a wonderful new addition to the, uh, the CarveRide software.